will reach 60 degrees tomorrow. This is Jay Berman. Jets now lead the Cardinals 7-3 in the fourth quarter. We'll chat the rest of the Week 13 scoreboard next week to Suns. Wins News Time 321. Time for traffic and transit on the ones. Here's Brian Bridges. And here's what you need to know about the Bridges and Tunnels into town. The Lincoln looking good. The Holland in battle as I see it on the jam cam. Five minutes from the turnpike. No delay from one and nine. See the bridge. Ten up five down out of town. Getting busy at the Lincoln up to about a ten minute delay. Ten to fifteen out of town at the Holland and then jam packed at the Holland Tunnel. Getting under one and nine. Ongoing construction here on the Flasky Skyway. We've got slowdowns here at the outbound Brooklyn Bridge. Still a little bit of a slowdown on the FDR southbound. Getting into the Brooklyn Bridge. Disabled the vehicle on the BQE eastbound at Atlantic Avenue. That knocks out the left lane as we go into the Bronx. Oh, we're still seeing issues here on the Cross Bronx Expressway. This is westbound, right before 3rd Avenue. Knocks out the right lane. You are stopping to go back from the Bruckner Interchange. Bronx Center Parkway slow southbound Boston Road getting to 174th Street. And a quick check here into uh, Queens. I've got those uh, brake lights here on the Jackie Robinson Parkway as you make your way on the uh, southbound side of the Van Wick, Northbound Rockway Boulevard, and Queens Boulevard, you are slow. I'm Brian Britton. Our next report at 3.31 on 1010 Winds. Attention drivers, owner-operators, call 212-777-7777 for New York's busiest car service. Dow 7 needs experienced drivers. You may earn $2,000 a week. Call 212-777-7777. Winds News Time, 3.22. The battle lines were drawn a while ago, and those lines all lead to the edge of the fiscal cliff. The term given to the automatic tax hikes and deep spending cuts that kick in at year's end. The cliff, a hot topic of discussion on the Sunday talk shows. Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner on Fox News Sunday reiterating the president's stance on tax rates. We're not going to extend an extension of the tax rates for the top 2%. We think they should go back and need to go back to the clean levels. The administration has said Republicans are holding middle class tax rates hostage as this stalemate continues. House Speaker John Boehner, also on Fox News Sunday, responding to the White House proposal presented to him last week. Boehner saying he will not be a part of any plan that increases the debt. It's not like there's any money on the Social Security Trust Fund or the Medicare Trust Fund. It's all been spent. And the whipsaw effect this is having on the budget is horrendous. Uh, and, and if we don't get a hold of it, uh, we're mortgaging our children's future, and I am not going to be a part of it. The speaker said he is willing to consider a change in tax deductions for the wealthiest Americans, but he didn't provide any specifics on that. Wins News Time 323. Word of another tragedy from the world of football. Confirmation from the Cleveland Browns that a member of their grounds crew took his own life at their facility last night by hanging himself. The Browns called it a terrible tragedy with condolences going out to the family of their employee. This occurred just one day after Kansas City Chiefs linebacker and Long Island native Javon Belcher killed his girlfriend and then himself. Belcher, a graduate of West Babylon High School. Wins News Time 324. New statistics out from the American Lung American Cancer Society showing lung cancer remains number one among the cancer killers in New York. The numbers indicate there were nearly 9,000 deaths from the lung disease. That's more than a quarter of all cancer deaths in the state. The Society's Cancer Action Network puts prostate and breast cancer up near the top as well. Altogether, there were close to 110,000 new cases of cancer diagnosed this year in New York. Well, New Jersey's six-day bear hunt begins tomorrow, the third consecutive year for the hunt. But Garden State officials say there will be fewer bears taken because there are fewer bears, period, and fewer hunters, too. The past two hunts ended with the largest bear kill totals on record. But the State Environmental Protection Department reports the number of bears has not bounced up again, and complaints about, bear, about problem bears in neighborhoods are down. A second deadly crocodile attack has killed another child in a remote section of northern Australia. Correspondent Andy Field says it happened near an indigenous aboriginal community. The crocodile grabbed the nine-year-old boy as he swam in a river. Horrified friends and family tried saving him as the reptile dragged the boy away. Rescuers are still searching, but say it's unlikely they'll find the boy alive. Two weeks ago, another crocodile snatched a seven-year-old girl in northern Australia. Rescuers shot and killed it, but could not save the girl. Police say locals have been finding at least one one old crocodile before the boy was attacked, but they're not sure if that croc was the one responsible. Thousands of people came together in Hungary today to protest the far-right lawmakers' call for the screening of Jews as potential national security risks. The far-right legislator claims it's time to assess how many people of Jewish origin are in Hungary and inside its government. The anti-Nazi protests crossed political boundaries. Wins News Time 325. Money watch in a minute. Dear Honda, I wanted to say thanks for getting Dad a deal on the pilot during the Happy Honda Day sales event. This wise investment bodes well for increased fishing trips. And the rear deck camera means my new bike will be safe from future <clears throat> driveway complications. Sincerely, Max. More happiness and standard features with every Honda during the Happy Honda Day sales event. Get a great deal on a 2013 pilot with standard features like a rear view camera.
Well-qualified buyers pay to get 0.9% APR financing. Visit your Honda dealers today. See dealer for financing details. Right now, the Home Depot has freshly cut Christmas trees starting at only $19.98. Picking out the perfect tree is a great tradition. Paying too much shouldn't be. Take one of these beauties home for the holidays and you can save enough for a little extra garland. A few more lights on the tree or maybe an extra gift or two beneath it. All thanks to our freshly cut Christmas trees arriving weekly and starting at only $19.98. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. U.S. only. Winds News Time 326. Now Money Watch on 1010 Winds. Here's Tracy Junkie. It was a cold November for many national retail stores. Three quarters of chains reporting the month's sales did worse than expected, according to Retail Metrics President Ken Perkins. They've got some catching up to do given the weakness in the November numbers. Easier said than done. We have a stretch here from this past Monday all the way up through you know, Saturday, December 15th where there should be a pretty big lull as there has been in the last several years. And they need to do you know, something to generate some buzz and bring some consumers out to the stores during that period. Ken Birkin says Black Friday weekend created a lot of buzz at the end of the month. Macy's had a great Black Friday weekend. I mean, they were busy from the opening at midnight on uh, Friday morning all the way through the weekend. But even at Macy's, one holiday weekend could not prevent sales from slipping in November. Macy's and many other stores that that missed targets, like Target, blamed Superstorm Sandy. From the MarketWatch.com newsroom, I'm Tracy Junkie for 1010 Wins. Money Watch at 26 and 56 minutes past every hour on 1010 Wins. Wins News Time 328. If you're living with diabetes and have Medicare or private insurance, here is some great news. Call United States Medical Supply today, and we'll send you the smallest glucose meter in the world, absolutely free. So small. It fits right on the bottle of strip, and if you call now, we'll also send you the stylish full-featured meter at no charge. That's two free meters. You can keep one in your pocket and leave the other one at home. You can even hook it up to your computer so your doctor can track your results. United States Medical Supply also delivers prescription medication right to my door, so I don't have to go to the drugstore anymore. Don't let diabetes get in the way of living. Give us a call today at United medical supply and get the smallest meter in the world for free. Call today. To find out more, call toll free today. 1-800-624-0900. That's 1-800-624-0900. Call 1-800-624-0900 today. Wings News Time 329. Thank you for calling 411 City and State, please. New York, New York. Listed. No nothing photo. I'm sorry, sir. I can't give you the number for No Nothing Photo. Why not? I'd be doing you a disservice. But uh, I've got a lot of holiday shopping to do. Uh, I need a digital camera for my father. That's simple. You go to B&H. Yeah, I also need an iPod for my brother. No problem. You go to B&H. Well, I was also thinking about home entertainment equipment for the wife and kids. Okay, say it with me. You, you go, go to B&H. &H. For a great selection of gifts, including cameras, lenses, and lighting equipment, computers, iPads, and tablets, as well as headphones, pro audio, and pro video equipment, you go to B&H. New York's ultimate camera store, located at 34th Street and 19th.